What's going on, internet friends? And welcome back to the episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is like my favorite show where I get to just feel like I'm talking to you guys and answer your questions for what you want to know about me, technology, what phone or tablet you should get, what's coming up next, my thoughts on design. And for some people, inner staff, Ron, I'm looking at you. Why it hurts when you pee. Uh, first question comes from E1 Slavin who asks, at John Ford Lakers, would you ever import and use a phone that doesn't have uh, compatible US LTE bands, for example, like the Samsung A8? It is very tempting. Um, other countries have gorgeous phones that we don't always get here in the US and certainly vice versa. Uh, from somebody who's done it, I've imported phones because I just wanted to use them. Never works out that well. Uh, usually I'll use a phone that'll maybe only have HSPA support and not LTE, but also I, I found that I'm missing a few key bands. Maybe the 850 band's not there, 900 band's not there. Never makes the experience that seamless. Uh, so I've sort of gave myself a rule now where I'm not gonna import anything that doesn't fully support the carrier's bands that I'm with. That's my experience. It's just never been a great phone using experience. Really the device has been awesome. Um, but I would, I would save your money and maybe buy something that has uh, all the bands on it. Next one comes from coldfire underscore AG at John Four Lakers. Do you think the lack of SD expansion on the Note 5 will be a deal breaker? So at this point, the Note 5 has been leaked. Like, it's been leaking like a faucet that someone just like went to sleep and didn't turn off. We pretty much know everything about the device. It's essentially a bigger Galaxy S6 with an S Pen. Uh, at least as far as we know, unless Samsung has surprises for us uh, later on this week. But much like the Galaxy S6, no removable battery, no expandable storage. Is it a deal breaker? That's subjective. For me, it's not. Uh, I very rarely use SD cards uh, with phones anyway, but I understand for a lot of people that's something that they rely on. Uh, they put pictures, music, videos uh, on those cards. If you're one of those people, then you should not look to get a Galaxy Note 5. Look at another device that offers that. For me though, not a deal breaker. I think maybe if you're one of the people that swap cards and if you want to get that device, opt for larger storage. Next, Leo the Lion 96 asks at John Four Lakers, what impact do you think Force Touch will have on the iPhone? <laughs> I am really excited about Force Touch. Actually, over the weekend, uh, a video was released that gives a concept of what you can do with Force Touch. I think it's gonna completely redo how we use iOS. The video they showed was how you can sort of Force Touch uh, on certain setting icons and actually jump into those settings. So if you Force Touch Wi-Fi instead of turning it on or off, you actually jump into your Wi-Fi settings. It's actually gonna give you almost another customizable button without having another button there. I'm excited about it. I really like it on the Apple Watch. I think it's gonna sort of redo how you use iOS and offer a ton more functionality. I'm hoping for sub menus. But you know what Force Touch is not gonna do? Give me widgets on the home screen. It's never good. And last, definitely not least, Nicholas 007 asks at John Fulakos, what is your favorite in design? Is it Sony or is it Samsung? Uh, for me, I've been a big fan of Sony designs, at least recently. I'm using at home a Z4 tablet because I love the way that thing freaking looks. Uh, the leaks of the Z5 look awesome. Uh, I love the way the Z3 looked, the Z3 Plus, and they're sort of Z4. Uh, I'm, I love Sony designs. I think the big button on the side has been nice. Uh, I think they just look really slick and they've all been waterproof on top of having killer design. So I think I give the edge to Sony. I think Samsung has stepped up their design game huge uh, with the S6 and the S6 Edge. The, Galaxy S5 was a, let's just, just call it a space, but it was a fugly phone. It was, it was not nice looking. I'm sorry if you have one, I'm just telling you, don't get mad at me. Uh, but they've certainly stepped it up. I think if I had to pick a phone based purely on design, uh, I'd probably err on Sony. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back here next week answering your Ask the Buffalo questions. Until then, John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. Talk to you later, friends.